Hi everyone, it's Burr from Season Gaming, and today we're going to be doing a video that kind of makes a normal Xbox controller into an advanced Xbox controller. Now, I'm not trying to replicate the Elite in any form whatsoever. What I'm trying to do is give the best experience with solely eBay parts. Now, this is kind of a play on what happens with cars. You get the eBay parts, you put them on. You might be looking at kind of a crappier version of a performance part. But with controllers, you can really do a lot simply with upgrading it with parts solely from eBay. Now, one of the things I do want to mention here is you want to look at the controller you have before buying any of these uh, pieces. Now, I did do a video a while ago on how to find out what controller you have. Um, the model number is found right here. Um, and in this case, this is one of the new X Xbox One S controllers. They do come with Bluetooth and all that information. There is the Elite controller, which came before this. And then you have one that only came with the 3.5 millimeter jack, and then one that comes with just nothing. It's just this right here. So take a look at your controllers before you buy any of the parts that we're gonna talk about here. Now, the Elite controller is a lot more expensive of a controller. That ranges for about $150 retail. Um, this is actually an Xbox One refurbished controller. I did buy it off eBay and they're pretty easy to find refurbished. This was only $29.99. It comes in white or black, your choice. Now I do have the Scorpio one here. This did come with my uh, Scorpio or Xbox One X. I'm just going to be mentioning it a couple times and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Now I am going to be doing another video where we're going to replace the entire shell and everything and kind of refresh your controller into a new controller, but this is only to enhance it. So a couple things. The Elite controller is known for having soft grip touches on the back. Now you can get these in almost any color that you want in a soft touch back for around eight to nine dollars. So these are really a great buy if you are looking for that soft touch rear. We're going to take that apart and install it. Here are some controller caps. Now these are the dome nature. These are by a company by the name of Skull and Company. They range anywhere from seven to nine dollars shipped to your door. Now they come in a black, white, or a neon green color. So you might want to look at these. I'll kind of show you these from different angles. They literally are caps that um, you put on the top and we're going to install those. The Xbox recharge kit. So a lot of people complain that you have to use your batteries often and they run out and some people go out and get rechargeables. I bought this rechargeable kit with cable for $14.99 on eBay, and this is an Xbox part. This is not some third party, so $14. Bucks. And then if you do have some nicer headphones that you prefer to use versus the, um, the standard Xbox controller uh, uh, headset that comes with it, these are great. I paid $12 for this shipped. So all together, we're looking at under $80 for a really nice controller that comes to you from eBay um, the way you want it. Once again, you can customize these any color you want. You can get these any color you want. This is obviously gonna be black. This is gonna be black, but it's really gonna come down to what you want. I did pick these up as well for this video, but I'm not going to put these on just yet. Uh, these are kind of a, from Power A, they are kind of a, an official product. And what these are, you put the caps on top of the joysticks. Uh, mine did not arrive in the best shape, so I'm not going to um, install it until I find out what the seller is going to do. But I paid around $7 for these shipped to my door. Um, if he doesn't refund me or anything, then I'm just going to stick with these two. But it came broken on this part, so I'm not going to open it until I hear what happens. But let's go ahead and get started and talk about how these are going to upgrade. So if you play a lot of Xbox One, you will notice, or you will know, I should say, that these joysticks have kind of a textured grip around here, and it can get kind of rough on your thumb over time. At the same time, they're not lifted or they don't have any height. So some people that play first-person shooters or even racers where they're constantly pushing back and forth on the joystick will actually get a sore thumb or they want more height for more flexibility and more precision when they're playing that shooter or racer. So that's what these are for. So these are literally a cap. Um, you are gonna be installing this on top of your existing joystick. So that'll give you this. So let's go ahead and do that. And you literally press over the edge, make sure it comes around the other edge and it's installed. That's how quick it is. So you can kind of see if I uh, go ahead and get into the light here, you can definitely see the difference in height. If I get closer to the, to the, to the camera, you can easily see the difference here. Now this is once again gonna be softer for your finger. If you think about it, you're constantly pushing in one direction, you're gonna get a soft touch there. So I'm gonna put the other one on there as well. Once again, you're just gonna pull from one side, 
come to the back. Let's see if I can actually do this my first time like I did the other one and I had to do it twice. So, and then you can spin them if you want to, if, those, if the uh, skull really matters to you as to where that's located. So let's look at them again. We now have a domed type joystick. These are a lot higher. Now when you're playing that shooter or racer, whatever it is that you're doing with your controller, you're going to have a bit more precision and you shouldn't get that thumb fatigue or that sore thumb that some people get from too much gaming. So that's really nice there. Now battery is obviously really easy to install. I'm going to simply put it in and slide that in there. Oops, it starts from the side there and literally push it in. And now you have a rechargeable battery for your controller. You no longer have to change batteries out. You've got the cable. Now these last around six hours or so before it needs a new charge, depending on what you're playing. So now you have that rechargeable battery that the PlayStation and the Nintendo guys always talk about. Oh, you have to install a new one, but now you have an internal battery, leave it alone. You don't have to mess with it again. Let's talk about the soft touch rear now. Now the soft touch rear is something that really helps out for people that grip their controller really tight, or maybe you have really sweaty hands and these get really worn and or they get really slippery while playing. That's what these are for. So let's go ahead and show you how this is installed. So they do come with this little uh, pry tool now this is gonna simply take off the rear handles for you. And when you take those off, they're gonna slip right in. So I'm gonna do that on camera really quick. It is gonna take me a second. You're gonna see a lot of finagling. I will fast forward that so you don't have to watch the whole thing. But I'll, I'll show you where you wanna pry this from. This thing is really thin here at the bottom. So all I'm gonna do is find the edge here and I'm gonna go ahead and pull and pop that out and put those on. So let me go ahead and do that. We have a pop in the back. Now you're gonna simply pop on top. And it will sometimes pop out at you. Now this is the uh, left one and you have the right one. You're simply gonna pop these in. I will do that in a second. Other things that I do wanna mention now, the Xbox Elite controllers are known to go bad in a number of locations. We're not gonna talk about that too much today aside from the pieces that do break. So these bumpers break, the joysticks are known to break in numerous areas, your triggers are sometimes known to break. We don't have that problem with the normal controller. So we're gonna simply install it the same way you would with the Elite controller. Let me get the other one off now. Okay, now these things do like to come flying off once you pop that open. Don't feel like you're gonna break it unless you really are hearing plastic move or anything along those lines. That's not what you wanna do. So let's go ahead and pop these on. I'm gonna simply line it up in the back. You will see little areas that you will put these into. Those little areas are these little teeth right here. There's gonna be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teeth that you're gonna find them on. You'll see the same teeth there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're literally gonna get that, line them up. And that's it. You have that one side on. Let me get this one on here. Line them up pop them, you're gonna hear a lot of popping all over the place. So if you see what's happened here, and my battery did turn on, so let me take this off so my Xbox doesn't turn on. But this is kind of a lot better of a controller now. Now I have my soft touch in the back. If I sweat a lot, that shouldn't go anywhere. I've got my joystick caps on top. This should give me a lot better precision. And now I have a lot nicer of a controller for a lot cheaper. Now this is gonna be, once again, if you calculate everything, including battery, you're looking right around 75 to $80. If you're looking only with that without the battery, it's only gonna be around $60. So it just depends on how far you wanna take and how far you wanna customize your Xbox controller to your wants. Once again, you can get these in all different colors. You can get these in different colors as well and really spruce it up that way as well. Now I went through eBay, like I mentioned. If you wanna stay off of eBay, there is this company called Gaming Cobra. They do a lot of this stuff as well. They're relatively affordable as well. I actually think they all get it from the same place. Um, I'm not pushing this in any way. We're not getting paid for any of this. But in case this interests you, they have this for PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, all kinds of customization that you might be interested in doing by yourself. Now in the near future, we are gonna take apart an entire standard Xbox One controller, change the shell, change the colors, and show you more on how that's done. It's really not that hard and you can do 
it with just this and a little screwdriver that comes with it. So if you prefer doing this on maybe a black controller and you don't care to have your standard controller as dressed up as this one is, that might be down your alley, they're done the same way. One last reminder guys, check the controller type before you buy any parts. The last thing you wanna do is order the wrong parts for the wrong controller. Then you're gonna to have to deal with eBay or Gaming Cobra online. Some of these do come from China. So that's another thing I wanna keep in mind. When they do come from China, you might be waiting a bit longer than you usually would. You're looking at two to three weeks. Just be patient. The parts are cheap. Everything is cheap for a reason. And that's why it's gonna take longer to get to you for that affordable cost. Anyways, if you have any questions, make sure to link them in the comment section. We're gonna put as much as we can in the description as far as what these parts are where you can get them and for the best prices. Thanks again.